Agora, UNICEF's global hub for learning and development, provides a simplified way to publish learning assets. Do you need to have a face-to-face -face workshop at your regional or country office and need to share information with participants? Do you like to share videos or documents that you think useful for your colleagues? With very limited training, a large number of secondary administrators can set up a variety of learning assets. It's fast, easy, and free. There are six different types of content you can make available through Agora. Each of these six types has a corresponding template that publishes the content to the web. Use the specific template for each content to standardize the layout, configuration, registration process, or completion criteria. Let's look at the assets and an example of how to publish them. Once logged into Agora, secondary administrators will be eligible to publish content. On the Agora front page, begin by clicking on the Administration tab in the top left-hand corner. Then click on Catalog Administration, then select Publish Assets. There are six types of assets, audio, video, external learning opportunities, events, embedded media, and documents. Audio assets can include audio clips, podcasts, or audiobooks. Video assets can include webinars, meetings, recorded presentations, or short video clips from YouTube or Vimeo. External learning opportunities include all the learning and development opportunities completed outside of the Agora catalog. It can be massive open online courses or MOOCs, webinars, conferences, or seminars. An event asset includes scheduling, registration, and attendance tools for a face-to-face -face or virtual meeting as well as the capability to upload resources to support the session such as a participant list or an agenda. Embedded media assets enable you to pull in external web content and present it on your activity page in Agora. The media will be presented in an iframe snippet and may include videos from either YouTube or Vimeo. Simple documents can also be uploaded and shared as a resource. PDF is the preferred and most common format for online documents. To publish an asset, begin by selecting the desired template. Let's choose video. For the purposes of a quick overview, let's look at a completed template. The Overview tab displays essential information about the asset. Asset full name. Type in the asset full name. Try to keep the name short and descriptive of the subject it covers. Asset short name. For the asset short name, select keywords or phrases from the full name. You can use an abbreviation of the full name. The short name will dis be displayed in the breadcrumb of the activity. Short summary. The short summary should be a quick and engaging description of what the asset is about. Try to keep it to one or two sentences. The short summary will appear on the catalog list view and on the asset overview page. The summary. The summary appears on the asset overview page. Describe what the asset is about. Consider adding learning objectives, the intended audience, the length of the course, the structure, and or contact details. You can also adjust the format of the summary using the formatting tools. Image. You can insert an image for this asset, which is displayed in the asset listing and on the asset summary page. Activity category. Activity category is a drop-down selection that allows you to choose whether or not the asset is presently visible to your participants. If the asset is still incomplete and in draft form, make sure you have selected the draft non-visible asset option in the pull-down menu. When you are ready to make the asset available to your participants, be sure to select Published Visible Asset. Learning Time. This is a field to capture the estimated time that you anticipate a participant will spend with your asset. Owner. The Owner field indicates the owner of the asset on the Agora web page. 
the credit field is used to identify the source of the video clip used in the asset. If the video clip is an external source, be sure to check the box at the bottom to indicate that you have verified that you have the right to share the video source on the Agoro website. To add your video to the asset, just drag and drop your video file into the files location below. Once done, hit Save and Next. The Classifications tab allows you to identify search criteria that users can use to find assets. Proper classification of assets helps learners find the right activities in the catalog. When managing classifications, make sure to specify all the elements that apply to your asset. When finished selecting the elements, click Save and Next. Next is the Completion tab. Activity completion can be tracked either manually or automatically based on certain conditions. The question mark opens up to provide more information. You can also set a specific date when the activity is expected to be completed. The certificate tab gives you the option of providing a certificate to your participants upon the completion of the asset. Click the checkbox to add a completion certificate. The Availability tab determines who can see and access the video. The tab can also be used to indicate compatibility with other devices, such as tablets, smartphones, and the Agora Offline Player. Voila! Now you have published a video. The video will be embedded on the activity page. An evaluation form and a certificate will become available once users complete watching the video. Under Content Management on the right-hand side of the page, click the View Summary button to view the Activity Summary page or click Edit This Content to go back and edit the asset at any time. To view or edit existing assets, begin by clicking on the Administration tab of the Agora front page, then select Catalog Administration, then select Managing Assets. All the assets you have previously created will be found there. For more information and specific instructions on how to publish each type of asset, please visit the Publishing Workflow resource page or contact agora at unicef.org for further support. Enjoy learning. Share knowledge. agora.unicef.org. Thanks for watching.